All right, time for another kids movie. This one's going to be over here at the Forum 8, you know. And uh, this one uh, is a movie I have not seen, but I saw the first one. This one's called Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. So, I like the first one. When I get back out to the car, I'll tell you what I thought about the second one. Yeah. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So, here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, for what it's worth, I am the Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. All right, so cloudy with a chance of meatballs, too. I, I'll say that this is also a very good animated movie. And one problem I had with it is that uh, people glide too much. There's too much of everybody just going, you know, this, you know, there's not like, the, no one naturally walks, at least not for the majority of the movie. And I don't remember that happening as much in the first movie, but maybe they just... <laughs> it was a decision they made to do to save a little money or something, but I don't know what was going on with that. But I thought this movie was good. Uh, this movie was a bit more visually inventive than the first movie. The first movie was, you know, kind of out there wacky also but this one <laughs> it uh has lots of creatures you know they're very inventive and i know the main the villain is supposed to be like steve jobs but i can't help but think this they're kind of taking a shot at fred visher <laughs> the the guy who made Veggie Tales, because he kind of looks like him. And this movie has lots of animated fruit, not vegetables, but they showed a tomato once and they made fun of it. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of seemed like this movie was taking shots at Phil Vischer. I know he made some animated movies there for a little bit. I kind of tanked his company, but that's a whole different uh, story. But, but in this one, okay, so the main character guy, and then they all had to leave their island that they lived on because of <laughs> the happenstance from the first movie. So, and but now the animals have become sentient, or the food has has become sentient, or something. They they've turned into creatures, and some of them can communicate in a, in their own way, sort of thing. So there's lots of different things. Lots of food puns. The movie is heavy on the food puns. But if you remember from the first movie, it had his monkey sidekick that could talk. But now, the bad person has a lady orangutan. And this one is a bit more intelligent than the monkey. And she's like, I'm an ape, not a monkey. <laughs> and that's an ongoing thing in, in the movie. <laughs> so... So this movie also deals with the, the father-son relationship. And now it's more like the father's just wanting to spend time with the son. And the son's like, you got to stay home. <laughs> you know, so it's kind of about, you know, spending time with, with your parents. as Even though you've moved on and become, you know, successful. Or even though he's not really successful in this movie either. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, I think the the voice of the ape was Christian or Kristen Shaw. Well, that lady, ha ha funny lady. So that was interesting. Um I do remember thinking in the first Cloudy with Chance of Meatballs is the most impressive uh computer generated effect I've ever seen in a movie. And that was the thing with the giant bowl of water, <laughs> you know. I, that was that blew me away when I saw it. And that was a really old movie. And I don't think it's been topped. <laughs> you know? It was, it was pretty amazing. And they didn't do anything like that. They they did do they did have like some smaller glass, you know, things. But this movie didn't have anything as visually groundbreaking as that, I thought. 
it kind of seemed like they were trying to skimp a little bit on this one but this this one had a lot had some very inventive creature designs you know those cheeseburger spiders and the you know just uh, just oh i can't even remember all the things it was like the there was these water elephants and they were hanging out in a giant coconut and i don't, I don't know <laughs> There's just lots of things going on and lots of different berries. Oh, and the sentient strawberry, which was adorable. The adorable little strawberry. But, so, yeah. I don't know who, my, like, I think these Claudio with the Chance of Meatball movies were, like, sort of independent. They weren't, like, with a big animation studio, I don't think. They definitely weren't Pixar, and I don't think they're, 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 not, they're not DreamWorks either, so, I mean... It's just hard to make things, you know, if you don't got big backing, that sort of thing. But I thought the, I thought that, uh, I thought this movie was really good, you know, it's solid. And, uh, you know, I think the first one may have been a little better, though. Anyway, and that's all I'm going to talk about that one. Yeah, hmm. those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. <laughs> It was the second one. So, yeah, I'm throwing those thoughts and opinions up on the thoughts and opinions pile. And uh, they will be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions, obviously. But uh, you can bury those opinions yourself by putting your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, that sort of thing. And uh, don't forget to feed that cat you got. You know, it's very important. In addition to that, uh, don't forget to clean up your mess from the first movie or else it becomes a whole to-do. Yeah.